Hello, Nomads Cult, and this video is about creating such a spiral staircase only in a few minutes. So let's start. So something here like this. And you see here the hierarchy, it's uh, only um, a few objects and yeah, a very nice poly count. Okay, so I start from the beginning. So I delete here everything and I add a, a box and I change the topology of the box. So we only need division zero. And so let's first um, create a, a ground plate. Uh, so maybe like this. And then I clone the box and I lift it up and this is our first floor. So maybe here, something like this. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So. And now we need um, a stair. So I clone the, the floor. So I bring it in position where, um, so, so this is the first step here. And for this here, I bring it in the top of the hierarchy and I hide the other parts here at the moment. So we only need our stair step. And, and for the rendering, I turn off the smooth shading. So I can validate this object now and use the cell mask. Where is it? So, and here turn off symmetry. So mask the, the vertices here and now you can scale the stair step like this. Okay, so we can clear the mask. Now use the gizmo tool. And on the left side here, you find here a pivot option. So activate it. And now you can bring the pivot in the rotation position where the, yeah, the center of the rotation for the stairs like this here. Okay. So now we can leave the pivot option. The next thing is here, add, press the add thing and add on the gizmo position here, this checkbox is important, a group node. So Here's our group. The group node is important, so don't forget it. Okay, now select the, the stair step here, and we have to add a few things. So here's um, the insert option tool or insert tool, and we can create, uh, insert here a cylinder. So, and I pick the the position here and I change the topology a little bit so this is for yeah the anchor for the stairs and then I clone this cylinder here 
I use the transform tool and bring it here in this position to uh, this is a uh, one um, thing for the handrail um, okay so I think now these are all the parts we need for the for a step for the stairs okay the next thing is so I activate again the floors so and I use here the side view and I create now a tube tube tool path so and I draw here a tube in the space so I try to yeah, pick here the um, the positions it don't have to be exact so here oh sorry so I zoom a little bit in so here ends our um, stair steps and here it should begin it don't have to be exact so only by eye so press here the three dots um, the green dot and now here you see your gizmo position so and this the next step is so we are inside our group here you see here is our group and here is our tube and now when we use here the the gizmo operations here you can press press here reset and then the tube aligns so it's now complete straight and it's in the correct position of the spiral stairs so the only thing we have to do is bring it in the correct position of our first point so maybe here's the center point okay so this tube here we can bring now outside our group okay the next thing is here in the tube three dots menu here you can create a curve repeater out of this group uh, of the of the tube so press here curve repeater and make it separate so that's not uh, as a child and now put your complete group inside the curve repeater so you see here now a second step appears here okay so now select the array and um, here in the top menu you can add, add twist nodes so like this and now you can change here the twist angle so you see here 90 degrees and um, so you can yeah <laughs> what do you need so maybe we need uh, only 90 degrees so sorry I tap on this and tap in here minus 90 degrees so like this and then we can change the count of the stair steps maybe like this okay <coughs> so 
we can select everything here and um, we can move it here in position so don't be afraid uh, of the, the movements here so like this <laughs> it's not a perfect stair I hope you understand how the workflow is so okay the next thing is um, we have here our tube and from this tube we can create a clone okay and for the clone we can set the clone to a spiral so now we know here here in this setting our twist angle is 90 degrees so and we have to change our radius so you see in the top view now our radius is correct and here you see other setting here this is the angle offset so we have to adjust it to the position so I zoom a little bit in of the handrail maybe here and you see the gizmo is a little bit uh, yeah, off so you find here a, a line on the left side the align thing and bring it in the position of the handrail maybe like this here and for the scaling you can adjust here the handrail like this and we can change the topology a little bit so we don't need so much I like this so yeah and if you like you can pick here um, the cylinder and create a clone and move it here in this position change the scaling here and place it here like this and the handrail maybe we can also clone and add a, a second one like this so now I turn on the perspective and yeah so yeah <laughs> um, if you want to make this here longer uh, you can uh, then validate the object and yeah sculpt a little bit more so this is a basic workflow okay so and this one now we can change also this one so bring it here in position okay that's it have fun with sculpting ciao